Ole Christian Vaga born in 1986 in Norway where I have always been drawn towards strength and bodybuilding training. This mental approach has taken him all the way to the Mr. Olympia stage. He's admired for his large legs and arms, as well as his dedication to proper nutrition, being compared frequently to the American bodybuilder Kai Green started competing in 2008 at a national level, international in 2015 and won my pro card in 2018. My training philosophy is based on heavy training and medium volume, with different training techniques in order to keep progressive overload to trigger muscle development. Many of his fans recognize his bicep peaks as some of the best on earth. He incorporates heavy machine workouts for his biceps, and also pushes hard on dumbbell bicep curl drop, set stop achieve this amazing feature. My training philosophy is based on heavy training and medium volume, with different training techniques in order to keep progressive overload to trigger muscle development. The content posted will be different training methodologies, nutrition for lean muscle build, various training regimes based on sex slash age slash experience, my daily workout, supplements, training, techniques, hormone profile related to body fat and nutrition, Q and S, mental training and coaching Norwegian muscle viking, Ole Christian Varga. Date of birth, 1986 height. 176 centimeters slash 5 apostrophe 9 apostrophe weight 108 kilograms slash 240 pounds to 122 kilograms slash 269 pounds off seasons history 2019 ifbb pro league british grand prix men's bodybuilding 9 2017 npc worldwide amateur olympia san marino men's bodybuilding super the National Physique Committee is the premier amateur physique organization in the world. Since 1982, the top athletes in bodybuilding, fitness, figure, bikini and physique have started their careers in the NPC. Many of those athletes graduated to successful careers in the IFBB Professional League, a list that includes 24 Olympia and 38 Arnold Classic winners. Meet Ole Christian Varga. Born in 1986 in Norway, where I have always been drawn towards strength and bodybuilding training. But since he's focusing on strong man at the moment, we provided details below of a recent workout session, upper chest, rear delts, arms and calves, where he hammer curl 140 pounds dumbbells. His goal at the moment is also to get leaner of which he's incorporating more cardio so that he can be in better physical condition. He says I prefer the front squat because the front squat attacks my quads more than the squat, plus it prevents me from using too much of my lower back. He also advises people new to the exercise to never let their knees cross over their toes. He says that doing so, makes stabilizing with a straight back more difficult. He's known for his humble attitude and amazing work ethic which has consistently earned him a top 3 spot in major bodybuilding shows on several different occasions. We'd also like to add that he gave 3 tips for maximizing chest development. The first tip is to focus on the movement and not the weight until you learn the proper technique. Just try to focus on the movement, the technique is the most important, the weight that will come later he explained, before the session. His second training tip is to keep the shoulder back to avoid pressing with the shoulders, especially when you reach fatigue. Then the last tip is to hit the chest from all angles for full development as with his training, his diet depends on his current goals. Although he's trying to shed weight at the moment, in December last year, he shared his strongman diet that allows him to maintain his 300 plus pounds physique. He has to pound down a lot of calories but there'd be no other way to keep up with the other elite strongman competitors of which many are much heavier. He has 2.5 million Instagram flowers.